the Wayne's Weird World. Yeah, come on, up. Come say hello, up. Come on, up. Oh yeah, good boy. Say hello. You're a good boy. Of course you are. This is Gus. Okay, hop down, good boy. It was a very wet, rainy, blustery morning here in Penguin, Tasmania. So I thought I'd do something different. And then the sun came out. But that's okay. When I'm doing my my 360s, it's not always very easy. In fact, sometimes it's impossible to drill through. And if I had longer arms, I'd do it even better. But that's what, I'm, that's what I put up with. Or the work I caused for myself. Come on! Ah! Oh. I pre-drilled it, but I wasn't quite sure if it was all the way through. I had that one made up because the existing set, that 6 mil one, just wouldn't do it. So that's what I do. Now I pre-drilled a little secondary hole and let's see if it lines up where I can work on it and uh, pliers are ah, hiding. Now let's see. Put it into the second hole. So once the weight is on it, once the weight is on it, it's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, it doesn't have to line up. Going. No problem. Just tap that in. That's a good sound. Now that gives me a good mount. Let's clear all this other stuff out. Drill bits are finished. The big ones. Ouch! Still hot. I always file the ends so that now yeah, it's still a little bit sharp there. That's better. So that when you're working, you don't accidentally grab something and rip your hand open. Okay, this is a Dendrobium delicatum apple blossom that I potted up on the 25th of November last year and now it's going to get mounted, I think. Because it was growing out of the side of, uh, of my big apple blossom that's over on the side. It's got a nice new growth, I notice, coming up in here. Not sure if you can see it. Just in there. I see a little pink one. A little bump. Just a little bump. So, it should come out fairly easily. It hasn't been in there very long. Knock all this loose. My handy dandy trusty piece of uh, plastic block sheet. Oh, nice new roots developing. Good. 
I like that. Yep. Nice new roots developing. Okay. Now, because it had this weird curve to it, I thought, okay, why not take advantage of that curve and try something like that. Put that down gently. Put my uh, fish line ready. I could tie a loop in the end of it so I can just loop it over whatever prominent uh, object is sticking out. Trouble is, my fat fingers don't fit in all these places. But this will put it down to where that's it. All right. Now let's stack the moss. Glass of wine out of the way. Safely out of the way. Label. Do not lose. There we go. Notice. It's living sphagnum moss. If you can get living sphagnum moss, you're much better at further ahead. And you really don't need a lot. Put a little bit in there. that on top. Keep my hand away from that new growth. A little bit across the root. And good business. I don't know why I do this. I make a lot of extra work for myself. But I really like the, the end result. It's falling off right left and center. And I'm at risk of losing it. Where is it? Let's get a couple loops across here before it does come adrift. Because if it does. I'll stop the video and I'll quietly use a few expletives without an audience. Because believe me, if I did that, I would. <laughs> yes, we do that. Now, I haven't mounted anything for a fair while, and when uh, I saw a video clip of somebody mounting a, a Dendrobium kenyanum, and they just mounted on a rectangular plank. It was horrible. Sorry. Just aesthetically, just absolutely boring. Well, I've seen some decent mounts on uh, fence paling and old weathered timber. So let's not just say 
all of them are are a waste of time. It's just that some are better than others. Let's see. Ooh. I think that's it. All I have to do now is tie it off. Put its label on. There it is. All I have to do is tie it off. I'll try and get the label so it doesn't stand out like uh, you know. But it's polite. Okay, you won't say that. And I'll trim up some of these obviously dead roots. But uh, I might just put a little tiny bit there of the sphagnum off. But that's it. A few little, little adjustments and that's it. All right. Wayne's Weird World. Cheers. See you next time.